Hey team and welcome to the 5 minute guide for Frost Mage. The Frost Mage is a relatively simple caster which hurdles razor sharp lances and gigantic spikes of ice at their foes, impaling them like a pincushion. It excels at dealing cleave damage, particularly to two targets, having some of the strongest two target cleave in the game. There is one real talent build for Frost Mage which is focused on making our glacial spikes hit as hard as possible. If you're doing pure single target, Comet Storm is better than splitting ice, but this will be a rare occasion. Generally, it's this build. Before we start talking about Frost Mage, there are a few passives we need to cover. Firstly, Brain Freeze. This can proc on a Frost Bolt and will cause our next flurry to be an instant cast. This enables the Shadow Combo, which we'll talk about later. Secondly, Fingers of Frost. Frost Bolt or Frozen Orb both have a chance to proc this. It will cause your Ice Lance to do triple damage to the target. Pretty much use this when you get it. The Frost Mage revolves around a very important mechanic that I'm amazed isn't explained in game, but this thing is paramount for doing good damage on this spec, the Shadow Combo. The Shadow Combo is a sequence of spells that allows you to take full advantage of the Shadow Passive, which causes your spells against the frozen target to have increased critical strike chance. The combo goes like this. Any casted spell, with an instant cast flurry at the end of it, followed by an Ice Lance, procced or not. Preferably not. The reason that this combo works is because flurry travels to the target quicker than any other casted spell will, so if you throw it out at the end of one of these three, it will hit the target before they do, therefore causing them and the Ice Lance to both get the Shadow Bonus. Now that we know that, we can start to look at the rotation for Frost Mage. Our single target rotation largely revolves around generating icicles and setting up for that next big glacial spike. The top priority here is to make sure that we're executing the Shadow Combo, putting an Ice Lance after every flurry and a casted spell before it. If we're at 3 or less icicles, it's safe to Shadow a Frost Bolt or Ebon Bolt. If at 4 or 5, save that Brain Freeze or Ebon Bolt to force a Brain Freeze for the next glacial spike. Speaking of glacial spike, only use this bad boy when we have a Brain Freeze available in single target fights. It's the only spell that we want to make sure is always done in the Shadow Combo. It's that valuable, it hits like a truck. Other than that, just remember to use up those Ice Lance procs, preferably before your next Shadow Combo. Also, make sure to use Frozen Orb on cooldown for those free Ice Lance procs. In AoE, we want to be following mostly the same priority with a couple of differences. When we get to two targets, we can begin to use Glacial Spike even without Brain Freeze ready. Simply letting Splitting Ice work its magic is enough. Additionally, we want to be making the most out of Frozen Orb resets, casting Blizzard on cooldown. In huge AoE packs, we can get up to 3 Frozen Orbs out at once using this. It gets pretty crazy. As usual, spend our Ice Lance procs when we get them, but having Blizzard up at all times becomes more and more important the more enemies there are. Lastly for AoE, we can use our Pets Freeze to Shadow Cone of Cold. Do this when you see a good opportunity. Our opener is pretty simple for Frost Mage. We precast with Frost Bolt at 2 seconds, pop Icy Veins and throw out that Frozen Orb at 0, Dump Fingers of Frost Charges generated from the Frozen Orb, then continue our rotation as normal. For the next 20 seconds with Icy Veins and Lust, we'll have an incredibly fast cast time and we'll be able to get one or two fat Glacial Spikes out onto whatever we're roasting. It feels really satisfying to play. There are small amounts of RNG that can get in your way from time to time, but generally it's not a problem and pulling off that Shadow Combo is one of the best feelings in this game, as you're often throwing around 300k damage into your target in the span of 2 or 3 GCDs. You will see their health chunk. Now that everything's out of the way, we have a bit of extra time available to talk about the defensives and utility of Mage, and trust me, they're great. We have Invisibility, Ice Block, and Icy Barrier. First Invisibility. This acts in the same way as things like Feign Death for Hunters and Vanish for Rogues. Use it on things like the Fixate on Razan in the Zyralor to drop it immediately and go back to doing damage. Next, Ice Block. This thing is incredibly busted. If there's a debuff on you and you don't want it to be on you anymore, pop Ice Block and it will be gone. Simple as that. Also, use it to be lazy and stand in mechanics. Lastly, Icy Barrier. It's a wonderful defensive bonus and having it up as much of the time as possible is great. It does lower your damage to use it though, as it's on the GCD. Try to use it while moving to minimize this. Also, remember to cold snap to reset all this good stuff and go again, after the 30 second debuff for Ice Block wears off of course. The Frost Mage is one of the more methodical casters. Lining up that combo in advance and making sure it fires off correctly is one of the more satisfying rotational flows in my opinion. Seeing that health chunk down is just great. Anyway team, that has been the Frost Mage. If you wanted to ask a question, you can leave it in the comments, I'll be sure to get to it. If you want to learn more or just say hi, I'm live six nights a week over at twitch.tv slash Thanks for watching and I'll see you again.